Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews for week 2 2017 and a happy new year. There are three scheduled launches and the first one is the Chinese Quezo. It will take off from Jichen on January 9th at 4 in the morning UTC. It's a rather small rocket and can lift one ton to a sun synchronous orbit. Quezo has three solid and one liquid fueled upper stage carrying four different Earth observing satellites. The rocket is derived from a so-called anti-satellite system which is basically shot into space to collide with objects in orbit. Unlike most other rockets, Kezo is mounted and launched from the back of a truck which makes it very versatile. I can't really find information about the planned trajectory but there will be a live stream. Next up is SS520 for Japan launching from Uchinouda on January 10th at 22.20 UTC. According to themselves, SS520 is the world's smallest rocket to bring payloads to orbit. The former suborbital sounding rocket was capable to bring 140 kg of scientific equipment to an altitude of round about 1000 km. The solid first and second stages have not changed much but now carry a third stage which can boost very small satellites like CubeSats into low earth orbit. This first launch is a demonstrator and carries TRICOM-1 which has a mass of only 3 kg. After liftoff the rocket will turn east as usual and deliver its payload to a 180 by 1500 km high orbit. Tricom 1 consists of 5 small cameras and radios to send its images back to ground. I'm not entirely sure how long the satellite will stay in orbit but with an periapsis of 180km its orbit will probably decay rather fast. Lastly and for me the most exciting launch of the upcoming week will be Falcon 9's return to flight. We will finally see a SpaceX rocket launch and hopefully land again. The launch was scheduled for today but was postponed to January 14th at 1828 UTC and will take place at Wandenberg USA. Falcon 9 burns extremely cold liquid kerosene and oxygen on its first and second stages. The unique feature which sets this rocket apart from any other one delivering payload to orbit are the unfoldable landing legs and wings up top. These are obviously too small and are not used to land the rocket safely. Instead they only do act like control surfaces to use the entire rocket body as a giant wing so to speak aiming for its landing zone. The payload is the first set of 10 satellites for the Iridium Next constellation. I will do a separate video about that. Each of those has a mass of a little under 1 metric ton and there is also the mount. So the total mass should be around 10 tons which is in the order of 50% what a Falcon 9 could lift in its expandable setup. As the launch site indicates the Falcon will fly an arc towards a polar orbit and soon after liftoff start to turn south. At round about 2 minutes the first stage will shut down and separate from the upper one which will go on with its mission. At this point I'm not sure if the booster will land on a drone ship or back on land since the landing site at Wandenberg might not yet be finished. I can therefore only speculate at this point since there was no official statement yet but I think it will be the ship. What will then happen is the booster will rotate around and perform course corrections to hit the right spot in the ocean using its main engine and wings. The final landing burn is a so called suicide burn which minimizes the fuel necessary. The less time it takes for the rocket to slow down the more efficient it is. That's because the rocket reaches terminal velocity at some point which is the speed at which the drag keeps the rocket from falling faster. It's a free break so to speak which the booster takes advantage from as long as possible. Hovering for example is not an option since it would consume too much fuel and the rocket has therefore to touch down at the same moment it starts to hover. The tricky part here is to stand on ground when that happens and not drop from a few meters high which would be fatal. Meanwhile the upper stage will have performed its burns to reach a circular polar orbit at around 800 km. There it will release the satellites and hopefully end its mission successfully. The last thing the upper stage could then do is a re-entry burn but that's not confirmed. Now in the end a quick shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot and if you want to contribute as well simply follow the link in the description. Ok, that shall conclude episode 7T and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.